Hey guys, welcome to my Wednesday live. As you guys are jumping on, uh, definitely say hello. And if you haven't been to one of my lives yet, I'm Sonic, uh, the owner and creator behind Sonic's Garden Blooms. And today we are going to be talking milk paint, um, the sweet pickens. I just got it in. And we are going to be working with bottle trees. So on Monday, um, I asked, what should we do on Wednesday? And 50-50 uh, mix. People wanted to work with the bottle trees because I went to the dollar store and I bought a ton. And then others wanted to have me play around with the milk paint. So we're going to do both. So um, hey, Paige. Hey, Stephanie. So it looks like you guys are joining me. All right. So if you guys did not get the memo on Monday, I received my shipment. I am now selling the Sweet Pickens milk paint in all the colors and super excited um, to be offering it and really learning the ins and outs of the product. So I grabbed a bunch of supplies. I'm like, okay, what do I all need? So the few things that I did grab, I know we're going to be working with the bottle brush trees, but if I have extra milk paint, depending on how much we mix up, I also have this drawer. So what I've done so far is I pulled off um, the handles just now, and I was just going to wipe it down, and then um, we were going to paint that too. Uh, the other thing I wanted to... I, when I did the unboxing, you guys, there were like boxes, this whole room was full. And I said, I thought there were like 54, 55 paint colors and there are. So I kept one, I bought one color for myself of each one, but there's, I'm going to just quick go over them. So you guys know, oh, a lot of people are jumping on, um, Oh my gosh. <laughs> Brandy says, morning sun. I'm giggling. I'm milking my goats as you talk about milk paints. LOL. That's awesome. Uh, good morning, uh, free spirit. Um, Deb's on and Renee. Hello. Hello. All right. So there's Adelaide and this is a really pretty, um, looks like a deep purple. So that's a real pretty color. Uh, everyone uh, mentioned, or last week on Monday, mentioned artichoke. So we'll be playing with artichoke. So I'm going to set that one aside. There's basil too, which is another really pretty holiday green, I think. Well, any of these colors could possibly be like holiday-ish. Um, birdie, that reminds me of the color that I just worked with. It kind of reminds me of Inglenook um, in a way. So... I just worked with that color on my um, video. Then we have Bluebird, Blue Bohemia, Red Wagon and Basil are perfect Christmas colors. Oh, yes. Um, haha, I just said Basil. Oh, you did, Paige. Good morning. Never tried milk paint, Carolyn says. Well, we are going to try it today. I'm just going to go through the colors. There's Butter. Uh, there's Capri, which is a really pretty blue. Um, there's Cherry Pie, which I thought was really interesting too. Curry. Um, this last fall, I was really um, kind of obsessed with like the mustardy colors. So that's a really pretty fun color. Cobalt. We have Completely Coral. And that's kind of like an orangey coral. It's real pretty. I'm sure it looks very different um, versus the powdered form. There's Corabel. All right, there's denim. And then this is the color that reminded me of one of my very first videos that I ever did um, with uh, when I started my YouTube channel. I used like this... Um, I don't know, it, it was like a, a dark denim -y color, like a um, chalk paint. Creamy. Uh, we have First Crush, which is a really pretty pink. Flower Sack, which Paige was talking about. This is the color she has. 
And um, from what I've been reading, I definitely need to stock up on that one because I heard it's one of the most popular. So I'm excited about that. Uh, oh, hey, Nancy. She says, hi, everyone. Finally back. Awesome. Uh, oh, my gosh. Stephanie says oh, she's going to be right back. She's trying to get a possum out of her house. Yes, we had the back door open and have cats that could care less about our visitors. Oh, my word. Hey, Shelly. Um, she says, good morning. I hope uh, you all have a blessed Thanksgiving. Oh, you too. Thank you. Uh, Brittany says, I'm definitely going to have to order some. Normally, we go up to Vermont for Christmas, and we're not this year, so I'm doing all the Christmas crafts and decorating, all the crafting. Ha <laughs> ha, I love it. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, goats and possums. Lots going on on this live today. <laughs> Thank God I don't have any possums or goats in here, you guys. Uh, this one's called Galvanized. This one is called Gumdrop. That's a really fun one. Haberdash. I like when I saw that one when I was entering. I don't have them all entered yet because there's quite a few. Harbor, but they will all be entered. Um, there's only like a few more that I have to do. In a pickle. This one, you guys, I have been wanting to try. Um, oh, and Julep. That's a real fun one. Uh, Juniper. I'm, there's like a glare with this stupid ring light. Just Peachy. Uh, then there's this one, Lantern. Everybody loves black. Black Chippy, that would be fun. Lemon Drop. Reminds me of that table that I picked out of the garbage. Love Bug. There's Mercantile. I love all the names to you guys. Moody Blues. Joan says she loves the cobalt blue color. I know. Mulberry. Uh, navy blues. We have ocean. And then there's O Olive. That one's a fun one. Plum Berry. I almost said Plum Perry. <laughs> purple po purple posies. All right. This one is really vibrant too. Providence. That's a fun one. Oh my, I don't know why that happened. Oh gosh. How long has that been like that? I don't know. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh well. Uh, patina. Pantry door. My computer just does whatever it wants. Proper. That's kind of like Red Wagon. So somebody, um, I think Paige said Red Wagon. So we'll pop that one out. Scarlet. That was another one that on the on the pictures, it looked really interesting. Like it would be good. I find it hard to use bright colors. Sometimes it is. And sometimes you just um, in small doses. So these are perfect packs too, because um, they're very inexpensive and you get a lot of, of um, milk paint in there. And remember, it's 50% water, 50% milk paint. Um, and it's a good way. These little samples are perfect uh, to test out to see what colors you guys like. Um, and keep in mind, you can mix powders. So we're not doing anything cr extra creative today. We're just going to mix the milk paint and slap it on what I have cut. But um, yeah. So in the future, we'll definitely be mixologists. All right, so this one's Summer Cottage. That one is so pretty too. I wanna find a, um, so there's Sweetie Jane. That's a pretty one too. We'll do some Sweetie Jane as well. Um, how much? I believe these are like $7.95. All right, um, Sunflower. I was telling my husband, talking about pricing and stuff. <laughs> I was telling my husband this morning, I'm like, I am slightly overwhelmed because I don't know if it's the fact that I'm not working my normal nine to five job. Like normally, like when you work your normal nine to five job, like this week, oh, you have always Thursday and Friday off, you know, and Thursday for like Thanksgiving, Friday for you know, um, Black Friday. Well, that's not why they give you off, but you know, so then you can always go do all your shopping and then small business Saturday. And 
Um, I'm like, I don't even feel like it's Thanksgiving week. I don't know if it's because my schedule is not like, uh, I mean, it's my, I do keep myself to a schedule, but like a, like a standard business practice, like schedule. So I'm like, well, I don't know. Oh, I grabbed two sweetie Janes. So I think that that's why I was like, it, um, and so it is 54 because I counted these and I'm like, I have 55. Well, it's because I have two sweetie Janes. Um, then we have a sweet water. That one looks pretty tickled pink, but I, long story short, I feel a little overwhelmed with all the pricing I have to do and get everything on my website. Truffle. I said, I think I added a lot of products all at once, but that's good. Wildflower. That's pink. I like that one too. Guys, this one, I, I'm very excited to try. Sweet potato. I think that like that orangey color is so fun. Then there's suitcase. Willow Payne, that's another really pretty one. Then there's Willow, it's got like a little bit of a heat green hue and zinc. Okay, so now that we went through all of them, all right, and I got a little powder on me. Okay, so no, didn't try heat gun. Everyone was sleeping each time I used the milk paint, unfortunately. Oh, Paige, have you tried heat gunning? It seems like in all of the videos that I've watched, that does the trick. Yeah, okay. Sealed wood, painted wood, no chipping, no matter what I did. Oh, really? Well, we'll see what happens today, because um, I know that, like I said, it's a little bit unpredictable, but that's okay. All right, let's see. Um, Oh my, so Valerie. Hi all. Valerie from the UK. First live with Sonnet, but I watch all the videos. Love them. I just started with milk paints. Woohoo. Awesome. All right. So let's see here. I have my little whisks ready here. Let me just get these out. Oh, Renee, I'm sorry. You can watch the replay. She's got to go to an appointment. Darn appointments. All right, um, so a couple things you're gonna need. You're gonna need something to mix your milk paint in. You're gonna need items to paint, whether they be large pieces or smaller items. So we have definitely a couple different items. You're gonna need warm water. Um, and I, you guys, I have been saving these little, <laughs> these little, I am such a saver of different things. So I'm like, someday I'm gonna need them. So I have all these little like cups from my protein that I drank and I'm like, oh my gosh, I have so many. So I literally tossed probably 10 of these the other day because I was like, what am I going to need them for? And now I'm like, why did you toss them? So it's always good to hang on to some stuff. All right. So I have these to measure everything. So we have equal parts. Uh, all right. I want to try sweet potato and the curry. Oh, and in a pickle. Good morning from Northern Michigan. Hello, Denise. All right. Does what you mix it with determine if it chips? Um, well, it's only water. They recommend like warm to hot water. Um, so, all right, well, let's get started. Let's see, what color are we gonna do first? So um, I'm going to bring you guys down here so you guys can see what I'm doing. Mute it. I just muted it myself. Darn it. Okay. All right. Hopefully you guys can still hear me. I'm, I'm losing my mind. All right. Let's see here. All right. Oh, um, yeah. You just want to whisk it uh, and let it sit for a bit um, is what you want to do. You don't want to use it right away. You want it to thicken up a hair. Um, hey, Kathy. So let's go ahead and let me straighten this out a bit. Okay. Uh, Stephanie says, sadly, no page. It's just finicky. Yes, that's what I hear too. All right. So what I found, um, so I was out in about a while ago, you guys, and I found in the garbage, somebody had thrown away, they had a, on their porch, um, like all these beautiful spindles and some of them must have been, um, like, I don't even know why they threw them away. Some of them were a little rotten. I tossed those, but long story short, I cut them all up and used them for different projects, but I still saved the very ends and just the little chunks that I had. 
Uh, these were like from the center. I saved that as well. Um, and so we'll do a bunch of that. So that was one bunch of spindles that I picked out of the garbage. The other bunch, um, there were four chairs and they were falling apart. Um, these are really like sturdy. The actual um, spindles are really in good condition. So what I did is um, because the chairs were all falling apart, I tossed them in the car, cut off all the spindles, and we're going to use these to um, make four holders for the bottle brush trees too. I did cut these little tops. Um, these must have been, I think on the very, somewhere maybe on the tops of each of the chairs. I cut those off. I thought, wouldn't that be fun to paint up and put them on something? So I grabbed those too. Um, these were where the, um, it, there was like, I think they were, must have been connected. So I thought even here we could put some type of mold, um, probably a later project for that. But let's, so I have, oh, I have a couple different here. So we have these four, these two, and all of this stuff to paint and the, the, um, the other uh, drawer. So, okay, let's go ahead and we'll start with these and let's paint these all the same color. All right, what color do you think we should do? Um, let's start off with. So over the white, I would like to maybe use the artichoke or we could do like, we could actually do a couple different, we could do a little bit of each. We don't have to. I'm going to do the flower sack for the drawer. And, oh, Paige, that's too bad. She says, I think the climate may affect it as I'm in a hot and humid climate or um, Southeast Texas. That's, that's not good. So when you do get your um, small samples, it doesn't have the instructions on there, but they do have them online as well. So if you need to refer to the samples, but on the bigger bags, which are the pint, uh, you do get the directions on here. So basically it just tells you guys to thoroughly clean, lightly sand the piece as needed. So we will definitely sand this a bit just because it is kind of like a high gloss or like a gloss. It has a bit of a sheen to it. Um, just to, um, and then I am not going to add extra bond, but I just want to show you guys that there's not a glare. Uh, the extra bond does come in two different sizes. So this one is 16 ounce and then this one is four ounces. And um, you would just add a bit of extra bond depending on um, how much you think that you need. So if you really don't want any chippiness to come off, then you would want to add more extra bond. But we're not going to do that today. We're just going to do a bare and see how it works out. Um, Amanda says, I love that artichoke color. I know me too. I can't wait to do that. Is milk paint only for wood? Um, she has, uh, when I watched, I have seen a lot of people use it just on wood, but I have seen it being used. Um, I was watching another video where um, they used it on other items and I will definitely be playing around with it and show you guys that as well. But today we're just going to do wood and um, just to play around with it to show you guys how it all works. So um, I was trying to see, I thought I saw something about climate, but I didn't. But anyway, um, okay. So put water in the container first, then add your powder. Mix only for, mix thoroughly for two minutes, either by hand, blender, whisk, or by shaking. Uh, today I just have the whisk and the cup. And we're going to go from there. Let's see here. All right. Well, why don't we get started? Let's do, um, let's do the artichoke first, guys. Let's do that and see how that goes. Okay. All right. So basically you want to start with your water first and I am not going to, I don't have a lot of items here. So I'm just going to do a one to one ratio. Hopefully that will be enough. Should I do two? I better do two just in case I want to do two coats. All right. 
that was not full all the way to the top. Okay, so we got that out of the way. So I did two um, little scoops of this, and now I'm going to just do two of this. We'll see. Again. Okay, I'm gonna just set that in there. All right, I'm taking my little whisk and I'm just gonna whisk it. And it said for about approximately two minutes. All right. So let's see here. Um, oops, now I hit something. All right. So Joan says, I heard you should only mix up the amount of paint that you need because it will only keep in the fridge for about a week uh, or for about a week in the fridge. Is that correct? You should only mix up what you need is absolutely correct. And um, to be honest, it I don't even know if it would last a week. True milk paint, uh, unfortunately, has a very minimal shelf life. So you definitely want to mix up only what you need. So I probably, based on what I'm seeing here, I probably have too much. But, and then you let it sit for a couple minutes here. So I am gonna just set this down as to, cause I know how I am, but you can see it's, it's a pretty good consistency. And I have it really mixed up. It's kind of good to use in a clear container so you can actually see how it mixes up. I'm just going to use a chip brush to apply it. And, but yeah, so the milk paint only lasts for um, like basically 24 hours. You can put it in the fridge. From what I understand too, it does like kind of gum up and you can add a little bit more water to it to on gum it and then um, continue on. All right, so let's see. Brandy says, woo, found my sander in the barn. We moved six kids and a farm this summer, and now, and I'm just now getting back to crafting. LOL, dragging a nightstand home yesterday to do, oh, now what did I do? Oh, I clicked on her thing. Yesterday to do for Christmas present for the hubs. Oh, all right. Let's see here. All right, cute little whisks. Yes, I will have the whisks available too on um, my website. So they will be out there for you. Colleen says, hey, Sonnet, first time catching you live, though I watch all your videos on replay. Oh, good, thank you. All right, let's see here. All right, okay. So then I just wanna read or tell you guys. Um, uh, so, uh, the consistency should be a melted milkshake. Um, so that's what it should be. And this is kind of like a melted milkshake, guys. So I think it's basically almost ready to go. Um, do not mix your entire bag of paint all at once. Generally, milk paint will not store well. Once mixed with water, it begins to spoil and some colors will, will gel up within hours of mixing. It's best to mix up small batches at a time and not try to store leftover paint. So, all right, guys, let's start. I think, like I said, I painted or I did too much, but that's okay. So we're just going to, and it dries fairly fast. And then I saw somebody was talking about um, the, uh, had mentioned um, the heat gun and you can dry it with a heat gun to encourage crackling, but you don't want to over dry it either. So we can do that as well. So let's see here. All right. So on the regular wood, it definitely, you can tell that it's absorbing a whole lot better in the regular wood than in on the sides here and i'm just going to grab my heat gun there with oh my gosh it better be plugged in okay all right hold on guys i have a lot going on here <laughs> all right
Oh, shucks. Okay, so you can see it's cracking right there. I don't know if you can see that. just don't want to burn so you can see some of the paint chipped off here a little bit that was from the underside and then that was a little can you see the cracking down here this side didn't crack that much um so you can do one or two coats I'm going to do the two coats, and I think I'm just going to do, keep dropping this. I think what I'm going to do is basically I'm going to do these two sides first, then the other two sides. Okay, so now this is really cracking good, you guys. Or crackling, I should say, or like. Okay, got those two. So you can see there's a lot of, of the crackle in there. Let's do this side here. I think the key is you don't want to overdo it, but you don't want to... Like this side too, I almost don't want to paint that, but I'm going to do it anyway and just make the sides all nice and even. All right. This is not the best. So there's crackling there and there's some there as well, some over here on all the sides. So I'm just going to let this one dry. Maybe I should paint, um, let's, since I have so much of this, um, this color artichoke, what I'm going to do is I am going to paint the drawer with the artichoke. So. All right, let's see what comments did I miss as I was like fumbling about there. Did I miss a lot? <laughs> I don't know. Uh, let's see here. I did miss a lot. Um, all right, so let's see here. Okay, can you crack? Can you cr hold crackle up close to camera? Absolutely, I can. So um, I know there's kind of a glare. But each side is a little different. But what we're going to do, to I'm going to let this dry. And um, I wish you guys could. Uh, can you see the crackle or is it working? Basically, it, it's really, it looks like an old, it just reminds me of like an old dresser crack. I love it, actually. And then what we're going to use um there's all the different oil waxes, you guys. So we're going to let that dry. Then we're going to sand it a bit to see if there's anything that chips off and really smooth it out. And then there's some oil waxes to seal it. And there's um, there's the black. There's dark. Uh, there's just the, the regular clear. And then there's white. And then what that does is it gets into all that detail. It settles in and it really brings out all the details. So we're going to use that as well. So, oh my gosh, it's 1030 already, you guys. Feeling like the time is flying by. Um, let's see here. All right. So I am just going to... Um, 
scuff this up a bit. Let me figure out what I did with my... All right, so I just have a light sandpaper and I'm just gonna quick scuff this up, wipe it down, and then we're gonna go do our thing. Can't see much finish should do. Can't see much finish should do it. I don't know what that means. I can see it, especially on that one side where it looks like old lead paint. Yeah, that's kind of what it looks like. Old lead paint, but we're not going to die from the lead paint, guys. All right, so I'm just going to scuff this up a bit just to get down the sheen just a hair. And I have been wanting to work on this for a while. I picked this up at the bin. Always try to rescue um, different stuff when I can. All right, I'm just going to wipe away. Wipe down. All right. I'm going to bring this over. All right, so we're just going to keep on using this. Oh, you guys, I really like this color. I'm really obsessed with this color. I really wanted to paint this white, but that's okay, right? This little trip brush just lost a... All right, and we're gonna, I'm going to try to zap this with... Uh, the heat gun too, because I do want on this, I definitely want to promote some of that cracky finish. All right. Okay. I don't know. I was trying to read comments here. I'm not a very good multitasker today. I painted two two by fours that are both five inches long with the basil in distress. Now I'm stuck what I should do with them. I always try to have a plan before I, like if I'm gonna paint something, like what will I be doing with it? What were you thinking about doing with it, Paige? Well, maybe I should paint the whole thing, I don't know. I think I am. Here, I was just going to paint the front, but now I think I'm going to paint the whole thing because I have a lot of this. Oh, I like it, you guys. I like it. Oh, there's one of my hairs. Okay. All right. Let's set this aside. And it's actually kind of. All right. So I'm just going to dry it a bit with the heat gun. What is the shelf life of the dry paint? It, it There is no shelf. It lasts forever. Um, the shelf life starts when you actually mix it. So you definitely, that's why I mix only what you need. And you can see like I did the two scoops and look at how far this is going. All right, so I'm going to set that aside. I wonder how did that get all dry? No. 
I was hoping the top would dry. Okay, what did I miss? What did I miss now that I was back over here? Okay, the shelf, we talked about the, what, okay. Um, this might be, be best for people who don't paint very often. Or it's actually, um, I think this is for anybody actually. Because it's, it's a different type of look that you're going for. All right, I am going to just quick paint the bottom here. Um, hey, Sheila. I bet that the DIY Christmas fairy transfers will look gorgeous on that artichoke color. Oh my gosh, Brandy, it, they would. I don't have any more. <laughs> All right, I was gonna leave this bare, but I think because I have so much of it, I am actually going to use it on, I'm going to paint the whole thing, I think is what I'm planning on doing now. So the bare wood from everything I've read to the bare wood will actually um, soak up the milk paint a whole lot more. Oh. Well, at least my husband was paying attention. I didn't realize that the garbage trucks were coming out today. Normally they come out on Wednesday or we put out Wednesday into, then they pick up on Thursday. But of course I wasn't thinking with the holidays. All right. So after you apply your one to two coats and it's completely dry, then you take a very fine sandpaper and you sand it down and you will have no brush strokes. I know that many of um, my viewers too, they really like a nice smooth finish. They don't like that brush, the, any brush strokes at all. And this will really help alleviate that. Um, Joyce says, I use a lot of milk paint. It has a mind of its own, but don't forget to seal or it will keep chipping. Yes. Um, let's see here. All right. Let me just grab the sides. I'm going to just, I'm trying to work in sections here, you guys. Just to get this all done. And then what I'm going to do is hopefully, I know that I said I was going to be working with bottle brush trees, but again, I don't want this to go to waste either. All right, and let me grab this side. This is so pretty. This is like really a perfect green for the holidays, you guys. All right. And this does dry fairly fast, too, from what everything I saw. Like, within a half hour, it does dry. All right. Um... Paige said, I didn't know that about that and the brush strokes. Are brush strokes even less likely if you use the extra bond? I think that the brush strokes are totally eliminated just by using the sandpaper. So once it's dry, you just want to sand it to give it a really nice smooth finish and then seal it. Year round green. Yes, this is a year round green. It's perfect, you guys. It's perfect. 
Um, I love that color. I made a small bench and used it on that with the dark oil. And I absolutely love it. The little red wagon is also one of my favorites, Cindy said. Oh, perfect. So you use the dark wax. Okay, we'll use the dark wax too. Um, I'm hoping to finish one of these projects, you guys. So let's see here. This still isn't dry. This had a little bit of... wanted to so we have two projects going we have the little can or little holder for I will also paint this and then I don't want all right well I guess we're going to use a lot of this green up um it goes very far you guys <laughs> which is a good thing right um so I did two scoops of water, two scoops of this, and it went really, really far. Very, very cool. And we have a lot in there, as you can see. All right, I'm going to just quick dry dry this a little bit to try to speed things up. <clears throat> oh, that's true. Kelly said I could have painted it white on top and then chipped off the white to show the green. Oh, I yeah, I could paint white on top of this. Good point. Oh, <laughs> hey, Kim. Oh, here I'm like reading comments. I'm not paying attention. You don't want to overheat your paint either, just so you know. Okay. Or you might get too much chip off. So... Can, I don't, I'm wondering if you guys can see the, all the beautiful detail there that this hat created. So we're going to let that dry too. All right. I was hoping this would dry like a lot faster here. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Kelly said she was talking into her phone and that's why it said Sonic instead of Sonic. That's okay. So I have one spot where I'm going to show you, I actually left it accidentally in an area too much and you can see like right here. So it's, it got too hot. So I'm just going to scrape some of that off and then I'm going to repaint it because I don't want it that chippy over here. But if you do, that would be something you'd want to do. Um, Oh, I made a mess. Um, all right. That might have no hope. Live and learn, I guess. Right, guys? All right. Um, well, then stick around, Paige. You never know what comes out of my mouth. LOL. <laughs> uh, hey, Ruth. How, how much time do you have to use what you mixed? Um, you have basically like roughly, uh, 24 hours is what it says. I actually like the effect a bit where it got uh, too hot. Yeah, that, okay. So even here, I think it got a little too hot and I am gonna, I think I'm just gonna do, I don't know if I should do one or two coats, maybe just one. What do you guys think on the drawer top? You can do one or two coats. I think I'm going to do one more coat on the top. And then come back and then we'll do the sanding. All right, so. Let's 
So the top already had dried, so that went really well. All right. Oh, I'm loving this. I love this color so very much, you guys. This is so pretty. What are you all doing for Thanksgiving? I should ask you. What What are you all doing? Anything fun? Um, is this a metal box? Yep. Yeah, no. Um, it is a metal or it is a wood drawer. I would tip it, but it's kind of wet right now. Oh my gosh. Alias alien. Oh, I made it. Yeah, I was making four casseroles. Oh my gosh, girl. Nancy's having the family over. Oh, nice. I'm heading north by my in-laws my mother-in-law always makes such good yummy food okay i'm just gonna dry this a little bit more <clears throat> Okay, so I'm gonna just set that aside. Keep it on like that. All right, let's just take a peek at this really quick. That feels dry, that feels dry. This all feels dry. All right, let's just, um, so basically once it's dry, then you are gonna want to sand it. And actually there's a little brown on here. From, I'm gonna grab a different sandpaper because it actually filled the cracks in with all that brown from the drawer. All right. Do you guys think I should do the dark wax? I'm thinking so. Um, I actually, right here, I had a little bit of a uh, pooling. Let's see. Just had, oh, okay, so you guys. Okay. This didn't have a lot of chipping off. So that was, this is all nice and smooth. So you can see it's just real nice and smooth on here. I love that. All right, so this has a lot of the crackle. So let's see what happens here. Okay, so this is gonna have some chippy. Okay. All 
right, I'm just going to grab a piece of paper towel and wipe these down. All right, I have, I have to mute during the sanding sound, LOL. It's like, oh, I'm so sorry. All right, so you can see this had some chippy, but lots of, and so I'm just going to, so you guys get the effect since we have about 10 minutes left. So with the dark wax, you definitely want to shake it up, the oil wax, you want to shake it up really well. All right. And we're going to apply just a little bit. Oh my gosh, you guys, this looks so good. Oh, and it got into all those little crevices. Just so pretty. I love that. Let's do this. And then there's this one. Oh, these look like old. It looks old and worn. Just perfect. I love it. Oh my gosh, you guys. This looks, I'm going to, I'm going to put the cap on, put a cap on spills. <laughs> if you guys know me, I'm, I'm very clumsy. So what I'm using, and I will have this available too on my website is the Sweet Pickens Oil Wax. And they come in two different sizes, so you can get them in the um, 16 ounce or in the four ounce. And it looks like it goes quite a you know ways as well. And it comes in dark. You can get white. You can just get the regular wax if you don't want to change the color at all. It's just like um, just as uh, almost like a clear. And then they have the black. So it comes in the three different waxes. So today we're using the dark wax. Uh, let's see here. What are the different wax color options? Okay, so I just went over that. What is it that you're putting on? It would be the, um, I'm using the dark wax. Anytime you use it, you do want to shake it really well. Um, the wax, the color and wax kind of like settle to the bottom. So always shake it. Um, and yes. When using the oil, leave it on for about 15 minutes and then wipe back so it will soak in and seal the milk paint. Oh, good to know. Good to know. Thank you, Cindy. Another tip. So I actually, I don't know if I even, so I wonder, could I put on a, a secondary coat? Because I really didn't um, wipe any of it away. Or maybe I did a little bit. <laughs> yeah. So it, it like will really suck into all those beautiful details of. There's so many little cracks and crevices and it just looks like old, like an old vintage spindle. I love it. I love how this all turned out. Like this really crackled a lot. I just don't want to put too much. Oh my gosh, you guys, if you even knew me. Okay, so like here, what Cindy was saying is if we like kind of leave it. Okay. 
and then it will like absorb in there better and then you can come back and wipe away any excess if there's any excess. Oh geez. All right, now we're putting a cap back on that spill. All right, let's see. That's the perfect amount of chippy. I agree. I am very excited. Very, very excited about that. So now I'm going to just try to finish this up. I'm going to just put these over here. I feel bad. I wanted to try a couple colors, but we can always do it again. It's not like I don't go live every Monday and Wednesday, right? <laughs> Let's just finish this. I want to just do the top of this drawer. So I'm going to go over just a hair. Let me, so you guys can, I don't know if you can tell on the camera here at all, but it's really chippy here. So I think when I sand it, this is going to chip and flake away um, quite a bit. And I'm wondering if I should, I think on this one, because it's a brown underneath, I think I'm going to do the white wax. I'm going to try something different. So let's see here. Did I miss anything? No, no. Kelly goes, love, love, love that oil. I do too, you guys. I think it's pretty awesome. So um, I'm just, I just wanted to, yep, it's still working, but the top you can tell is kind of drying and peeling um, right around the edges. So yeah, definitely just heat or heat up, mix up what you're needing, and then go from there. There's just this one spot. I wonder if I went on too heavy there. Okay. There's a little wet spot there and like right in here. I feel like if I go any more, it's going to really chip, chip off. Already you can tell it's like going to want to chip here and just in a few spots. Blurry on my end. Oh, I'm sorry. Is there something that you can mix with the paint if you don't want it to chip? Yes. Um, Ultra Bond. That's what you'll want to use. The Ultra Bond. And it comes in two different sizes. So this is 16 ounce. Oh, actually, the, yeah, 16 ounce and the four ounce. So, um, and you can add as much or as little. So if you want just a little chippy or more control, and I'm sorry if it's blurry. So I don't know if it's because of the bright lights that I have in here. I'm going to have to, I'm really trying to work on these, this lighting situation, you guys. <laughs> Let's see here. Um, yep, so extra bond, like I said. All right. Um, let me see if I missed anything. How do you envision it being used on it? I know you said you like to have an idea, so I was just curious how you display this. Actually, you guys, so what I'm thinking about doing with this, um, it came with these really cool handles these glass handles. So I'm going to put the glass handles back on and I am actually going to paint the ins. I think, I don't know if I'm going to, I think I might paint the inside. I'm, I might, I don't know. We'll see. I for sure I'm going to paint the edges and I paint and I'm going to paint the top here. Um, but what I'm thinking about doing on the bottom, you guys, I am thinking about putting 
I have these little um, spindle legs and I'm thinking about putting, actually these would be even cute too guys, putting these little spindles on the bottom and making it be like more of a riser and then I am going to use it to put different things and you can store different things inside of it. It's not a huge drawer but I think it will work perfect for that. All right so it looks like there's just one area here that really needs to dry yet. Um, increase resolution and settings it helped on my end. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to start up here because this is all dry. There's just one spot here that's not, but I want to kind of show you guys. And I'm sorry about the sanding. I could mute on my end too, but... So you can feel it. It's all nice and smooth. And I like how it chipped kind of away by the handles there too. Oh boy. I'm like, oh boy, I lost you guys. Where did you guys go? Oh Lord. I did something. I did something. Okay. Flower. Oh, a flower box too would be really cool. The little legs would be perfect. You aren't blurry on my end. Okay, it's fine, Senate. We can mute if it bothers us. Okay, um, inside looks nice, that color. I know I am kind of thinking it. That's why I was kind of, I think I'm just gonna get the very edges. I'm gonna paint those up. I'm gonna paint the back. So the whole outside will be all painted and then I'm gonna do the sanding. So, all right. So you can see some of this chipped off and you wanna make sure that if the stuff is going to chip, you want it to chip now. So there's that. And then there's just a little bit of a, the wet right there still. I like the inside as well. Forgot about your live. Went to the bins. Oh, my gosh. And didn't get much. Should have stayed home. I will watch the replay. <laughs> oh, right away. And saying she went to the bins, you guys. Okay. I just want I just want to dry this a little bit and then we'll finish it. Yeah, I like that too, you guys. All right, I'm gonna do it over here. It's just this one spot. Or maybe it is dry. It just looks like it's not. Okay. I'm really liking this. Oh my gosh, you guys. I'm liking it so much. I don't remember this white being on the drawer, but that's okay. All right. I'm just going to wipe it down. And then... I'm just going to do the top so you guys can see what it looks like. So I'm thinking what I'm going to do, I just want to smooth this out a little bit. All right, we're going to use the white. So we're going to see what the white looks like. Okay. Um, let's see, what did I miss? I'm going to have to snake some of that green. Absolutely love it. I love it too. Did I miss anything else? It was not busy either. Oh no, I agree. Love the two-tone. Okay, so, all right guys. So now we're gonna use the white <clears throat> on here. And this is the white wax and I haven't used that before. So... All right, hold on one sec here. It's a bit of a seal. The seal is still on it. There, I'm like, why isn't it coming out? There's a little seal. Oh boy. 
I don't know if that's too much or not, but I'm just going to take a little piece of paper towel and just kind of and just kind of rub it around. And I'm gonna leave it on here like, no, I can't even remember who said it, <laughs> about the dark wax. I'm gonna leave it on here just to make it, I don't want that white inside all that detail. All right, so the that's the white wax. Okay, let's see here. Is that called wax that you're using? Yes, it's a oil wax. It's the oil wax from Sweet Pickens. All right, what a difference between the oil and the wax, or what is the difference between the oil and the wax? Um, well, this is called an oil wax, so it's like a, it's kind of like a lick, it's a liquid. So, all right, there you have it, guys. Oh my gosh, I love it. I love how the white kind of like gets into all, like settles into all that detail and really makes it pop. I love that. Okay. All right. I am going to switch cameras. All right. Um, and we're going to move that camera. <laughs> that was a lot. I was trying to get a lot done here, you guys. And I am sorry. I wanted to use so many more colors, um, but that's all right. One color is just fine too. And let's see. The white doesn't seem to have as a dramatic and as effect as the darker waxes, but I still like it. I would have to agree. It's harder to see. Uh, you can actually see it a lot better in person than you can, I think, on camera. Because um, it is in there, but it's not as, you're absolutely right. It's not as like a dramatic of effect. And I think I'm supposed to be using, um, uh, I, I don't think I'm supposed to use paper towel for this. Because I think it's getting some of the paper towel um, little debris on here. So I think I'm supposed to be using a non something rig, uh, but I still love it. And um, I'm going to finish that with this. Uh, I'm going to finish painting it after we get done and then um, seal it and I'll have photos of it too. But I think I'm, I am going to, oh gosh, I wonder if I have two more of these. These would be so cute for the feet, you guys. Oh, I think they would be so, so cute. So I'm hoping I can find two more in there. We'll see. All right. Um, they look beautiful. Let's see. Thank you. I'm over a foot taller than you, girl. Okay. Uh, looks great, Sandra. Thanks so much, you guys, for joining me. Um, and I want you guys all to have a happy Thanksgiving. Uh, Friday's video, you guys, I am working really hard to get rid of like a lot of my thrifted finds. I'm upcycling like crazy, trying to figure out different things to do with each one. So I'm picking out more items from my stash of thrifted items and we're going to flip them um, for my Friday video. So stay tuned um, and just enjoy the time with your family and fill your bellies full of yummy food. Uh, but we will see you guys Monday and we'll be doing another fun project and um, probably with the bottle trees because we never even, I even had a drill ready, <laughs> a drill ready. I had it all ready guys. So um, you guys have a great Thanksgiving and we'll see you guys Friday for my video and then Monday for the live. All right. Bye.